All right, I think everybody's here. Um, let's begin. So I'd like to first welcome everybody um, to our webinar series on Law Ruler's built-in CRM dialer. My name is Reed Witters. I'll be reporting the feature along with distributing all the content at the end of the webinar. Please, if you can, save all questions until the end where we'll have a Q&A. Thank you. So let's start out with the basics. What does it mean to have a CRM dialer? Well, we call it the three Ps. Why does it matter? Prioritization. First, prioritization is important for all call center software. What I mean to say is some callers have higher priority, both inbound and outbound. We all know that certain, we like to answer certain calls and certain people based on how we feel they're higher importance. For example, a coworker calls, emails you, you more than likely will not return that email right away. If a friend calls during work with our boss next to us, more than likely we're not going to answer that call. That's prioritization we're doing every single day in our life. So we do that constantly. Every minute of every day, we prioritize what needs to be done first so we do it without thinking it. We have built onto our system a prioritization, a prioritization level for all the firm's new potential clients. This gives us the ability to dictate to whom our staff calls, answers, or recalls back first, which comes second, third, fourth, fifth. Our intake dialer then automatically makes those judgment calls for the team based on all types of callers and how they dictate. So the firm dictates how we're gonna call people back when and why. There is always prioritization in our life and giving, keeping it back and keeping the power in within the firm to decide what's more important to you is the most important aspect of the dialer. Next be personalization. So what we like to do is warm up the call. What I mean by that is, I know some of you guys have heard the word automation. It's something kind of cold, robotic, not friendly, and generally considered kind of rude. However, it doesn't have to be, nor should it be. By utilizing what we call short codes, you can send personalized texts, emails, just a few seconds or minutes before you call that potential client back. For example, hi, Bob, this is Reed Witters with the Law Ruler Firm. I will be calling you shortly to discuss your case. This is my direct phone number, so feel free to text me and send over any additional information, pictures, et cetera. The system then waits a minute or two and prioritizes the outbound call next. This way, two fold things happen. One, it's another avenue of communication for the clients to call you back on or text you back. But two, it provides your phone number to the client before you make that outbound call. This is very important in today's everyday standard of telemarketers, where all of you have probably got a few telemarketer calls on your cell phone. So nowadays we send most of our calls to voicemail first to see what happens. See if they leave a message, see what they want, see if the phone says spam likely, et cetera. So by texting the client first, letting them know who you are, why you're calling them back and what number you're gonna be calling from, the likelihood they'll pick up is much, much higher. And that's half the battle is getting the clients to pick up the phone so you can qualify them and move on with the case. The next big partner of the CRM dialer is productivity. I can't stress this enough. You need to monitor the intake team's metrics. You need to have that information at your disposal to know which lead sources are converting, which agents are working the hardest and making the most calls. Is one agent doing all the work of the others? or are they both equal? You can compare and contrast. You can know how much time your, your people are actually spending on the phone. We all like to think that they're spending all day making phone calls and answering phone calls, but, but are they? You'll never know without having some kind of productivity report on your phone calls. It's hugely important to have such reports sent to you daily. Um, I always like to compare agent to agent or conversion to conversion, find out which source is working better. Maybe one agent's better at one type of case and the other agent's better at a different type of case. You can prioritize the system to kind of base the calls on that. Really hugely important to make higher conversion rate. So benefits. Um, we're all here to see what kind of benefits we can get from the system. Um, first and always is conversion rate, right? We generally see anywhere from a 10% to a 30% increase in all of our lead conversions by using a smart dialer. Um, this holds true for all of our clients across the boards. By responding to your clients quickly and more efficiently, you're causing that customer satisfaction to be higher because people are responding to faster and satisfaction is better and you never miss anybody. This means your intake team can handle more volume with the same amount of agents. Very important to have such a tool at your disposal. And what I mean by that is 
on average, if any of you guys can't tell me how many agent calls your people are making a day, I would be astounded. It's very difficult to know exactly how many calls each person is making every day. The fact is we need five to seven touches before we convert a lead. Are we making those five to seven touches? All we can do is assume we are. But now take that assumption out and let the dialer do it for you. It will make sure that every client's called 10 times or 12 times or four times until they get an answer or they don't qualify, one of the two. That is going to be a huge increasing of your conversion rate. So what else does that mean for you? ROI. So without spending any more budget on your marketing or advertising or anything else, you're going to increase your ROI. How? By converting more leads quickly and more efficiently, each marketing source is going to come up with more cases much faster. Now, what else you can do is you can compare the marketing source to a market source. So maybe you're using Avo or you're using you know, anything, uh, Thomson Reuters, and you're using them for leads, but you don't know if those leads are converting compared to your billboards on the wall or your TV advertising. You have no idea which ones are the best cases for you. Maybe they're both converting really well, but do you know which ones are the higher value cases? You just have to assume. So by using a dollar such as this, you're going to have access to all the ROI of each case type and each lead source. So at any given time, you can adjust your marketing spends to add more money here, take away money from there, or maybe just take a resource out altogether. When the phone rings all day long, that does not mean you have a good lead source. That just means you have a lot of volume. Something you really need to keep your eye out for because it happens quite often. So let's talk about typical workflow. The first and most important step is integration. So I know you guys is a term that everyone hears all the time and is thrown around constantly, but what do I mean by integrations? What I mean is getting your lead sources all to come in the system at real time. So it doesn't matter if it's a phone call, a, maybe a live chat on your website, maybe it's your, your website itself, a submission form, maybe you're running some Facebook, some LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever the case may be, the system needs to get those leads in real time, capturing both the lead source and the client. Right now, I'm sure some of you get emails for certain sources, or you may get a notification of some type. But that's not as important as having it come into the system, system automatically grabbing it instantly, by the way, um, emails can get lost and take time, and then automatically generating that phone call for the agent to dial. So integrations are the key to success. Nothing slips through the cracks because there's no way for it to when there's no emails being sent back and forth and everything's coming in and flowing into your system. That's where we come in. So we integrate with everybody you can think of. There's a client out there we can't integrate with. I haven't heard of them. So we'll figure out a way to make it integrate with all your lead sources. Now, the next is the text function and the CRM dialer. So personalized text messages being sent. I kind of went over that. Hugely important. These texts are automated, but they are very personalized and they are sent out as new leads come in. Calls then are loaded based on the first preferences. What I mean by this is if you want a potential client call, say twice in one day to try to get a hold of them, maybe skip the second day, then you want to call it again the third day, and then maybe the seventh and 10th day. Maybe you want five attempts for phone calls. The system's automatically going to dictate that to the agent. So based on your priorities and based on the automation we set up or you set up, you will be able to dictate how many calls are made to all potential clients. No cherry picking and no, you know, just calling the sources they want back. All of them are going to be called. Now, even the best intentioned agents forget. We all forget. So there may be a guy who called Monday and we tried to call him back on Tuesday and we forgot about him because we got really busy on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now it's Monday again and he's moved on. Those kinds of things happen constantly. And this doesn't allow that to happen because the system's automatically saying, no, it's Tuesday. We're going to call this person as well after we call these people who are more prioritized than the other ones. So there's no thinking as they see log into work. The system pops up the screen, says, are you ready to call Bob now? Agent hits yes. Phone calls made, intakes loaded. Very simple, very seamless. Now, when you don't get a hold of a person, we mentioned this earlier, what is the most important thing to do? Leave a voicemail. Those take a lot of time. So pre-record your voicemails. Drop them off. We all read the transcripts of voicemails when we get them. So let them know who you are, why you're calling them, that you're just giving them a call back. Those kinds of dropped pre-recorded voicemails allow the agent to do it hang up, make the next call, saving a bundle of time. Finally is conversion and wrap up. So 
what I mean by that is convert the client. All right. Um, converting is the hardest part, but there are ways to do it that we can help with. We'll get to that in a moment. But you have the ability to what we call wrap up the call. What that is, is time that the agent has hung up the client or has converted the client and is right writing in their notes, right? So during that time, you can review the disposition of the call, hugely important for reporting. At any given glance, you can see who's been called, what happened to that call, did they pick up, they let the voicemail, et cetera. At any given time of the day, it's required for agents to do. So that really helps you know, kind of make sure that they're doing everything they need to do and everybody's responding to you. Then you can tell if you need more volume or less volume, et cetera. So you can review the disposition of calls. You can review call recordings. And what I mean by that is every outbound and inbound call, if you have it on, is recorded. Great opportunity for training, great opportunity to review with agents why they didn't convert a good case or to decide if maybe the agent was rude or they were told they were rude. You have those access to those call recordings within the client file and you can listen to them. Now, another important feature to use is schedule callbacks. So you reach out to a client and he says, you know, I'm really busy right now. I'm at work. Can you call me at 4 p.m.? Sure. And they write it down a piece of paper, hopefully. Otherwise, you know, they just say, I'm going to remember. 4 p.m. hits, they forget. So we allow you to schedule callbacks for different times. And those are the highest priority. So when those come up, it's 4 o'clock. There is nothing else the system is going to give them but that call. Um, very important for callbacks. And it happens quite often as people are uh, no longer at home or just can't talk at the moment. Um, then you got your reporting metrics, which is also part of the wrap up. You know, how many calls were answered today? How many calls were missed today? How many calls were abandoned? And just so you guys know, abandoned is any call under 19.2 seconds, which means that a client called and hung up before anyone is able to pick up the phone. Um, it happens often. You want to call those people back always, and the system will do so. But the reason for a lot of abandons is people see your billboard on the side of the road, they type the number in, they call it, then they hang up. And then they say, okay, I saved it, and they saved it in their phone. Now, those callers need to be called back because a lot of times they're good cases. Then they mean to call you back, they just forget as well. So very important to know. Decline calls. What I mean by that is I was available as an agent, but I said, no, I don't want to make this call right now. I do not want to answer this phone call. You should never have very many declines and they happen often. So you really want to make sure you keep an eye on your decline calls, something we provide you for in our metrics. Agent work time. So that is a time that they're working on the file that they're not on the phone. So anytime a wrap up's done or an agent's waiting to complete the call, that's kind of your work time. How much, how much work are they actually doing versus how much time are they on the phone? And then your idle time, which is fine. The idle time basically says, I'm available, there's nothing for me to do, I'm caught up all the calls, I have nothing to do, but I am waiting for more calls. So that's kind of your idle time. And those are kind of your workflow for what happens um, for each client as you go through the dollar. So let me get to some frequently asked questions. Most important question I get asked constantly is, does this smartphone built-in CRM dialer, whatever you call it, replace the current phone system I have in my office? The answer is no. It could, but we generally don't recommend it. So we recommend you use it for your intake team or whoever answers your first line of phone calls, um, whoever's making those outbound calls to new leads. That's what this is for. That's what this tool is really designed to help out. Um, hugely important that you don't have to worry about your current phone system. That will stay as it should be because it's very difficult to replace an entire phone system. Um, it works alongside yours. They can transfer to you. I just always suggest we don't change that setup. So how does this help? Well, when you have new people, you don't need to purchase equipment. You don't need to purchase anything but a headset. So people can work from anywhere in the world and all they need is a headset. You can hire new people, you can remove people and not have to buy the you know, dedicated phone lines. You don't have to do any of that stuff, just a license and a headset, and they're good to go. So the rates are comparative. You know, Without the equipment, it's very cost-effective to have your intake team on this. So most importantly, how does this help us to grow? Right? I mean, what are we here for? Why do we want to know that this is going to be the tool that's going to help us grow more than we already are? Um, we'd like to grow better. We always assume that we're doing everything correctly. But let's just see what we can do to help you guys grow. So. By using a dialer such as this, 
you can prevent leads from slipping through the cracks. And what I mean by that is leads come in and they're forgotten. It happens every day. It's no different than any salesman who's done his job. That's just kind of the part of them. You know, you get 35 leads at a day, you're never going to get to all those and you're going to forget somebody. So again, that prioritization is going to happen. But most importantly, you don't want to lose leads. You don't want to lose anything you paid for. I mean, these are clients that you paid somehow, some way in advertising to get them to inquire in your business. So you want to make sure that each lead, no matter when they inquire, is given the attention it's needed to convert. So that is hugely important to make your firm grow. Don't spend more money on more marketing to make your firm grow. That just becomes cost ineffective after a while. Keep the current conversion. See if you can increase your conversion rate. Currently, whatever your conversion rate is, you should be somewhere in the vicinity of 20 to 30% conversion for all your digital leads in order to be considered effective. That's the industry standard for call centers. And that's where you guys should be as well. Um, there's no reason you shouldn't convert 30 to 30 to 35% of all leads that come into your system. And if you're not, or if you don't know, you need to find out. So what's really effective about the tool that for the automation aspect? We all know clients are calling 10 to 12 firms at a time. I mean, they're looking at the Google list and they're calling you, they're calling your competitor, they're calling your next door neighbor. They're trying to get a hold of somebody all the time. So by putting that personalized text message, by making that call happen within one minute, you are instilling the fact that you are the fastest responder there. And that's hugely important. Everybody wants the instant gratification. So by inquiring and the personalized text and then immediately a phone call, you're ensuring that you're probably faster than all your competitors at response to this. What's the, why would that be so important? Well, what if you're gonna take staffs on lunch? What if your paralegal's out on a break? Or what if she's in the bathroom? You know, without those kinds of automations in place, that client's gonna be waiting 10, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour before they respond to you. And that's not going to work. So we need to respond to everybody as fast as possible. I know that's annoying, but that's just the way it is. These are your clients and this is a sales process. I mean, you gotta get a back to them first and you gotta bid back to them the best way you can. So another way to really help your staff is your ability to kind of coach your team. What are your expectations for each call? Track your opportunities. Know exactly where each agent is, needs their help. What I mean by this is you guys are doing a sales process. I mean, intake is sales. They are selling your firm above all other firms. No matter what you want to think about your firm and how personalized it is, you're still selling your firm versus all the other choices out there. So you need to make sure that your staff are coached and taught and know what they're looking for and understand how to be sympathetic and empathetic. And we provide those kinds of tools for you to make sure that you can teach your agents the correct way to represent your firm. So what do I mean by that? Intake, I mean, it's a buzzword. We all use it constantly, but really what does intake mean? Okay, it's a set of questions, right? Nothing more than that. Uh, questions you require as an attorney to either take the case or not take the case. Now, there's a bunch of caveats that go into an intake and a bunch of extra stuff that goes on once it's a case. But what is an intake? We're looking for whatever the client says on paper to be something that we could realistically take to court, right? So the importance of having a intake questionnaire that not only populates per case type, so it's going to be a different intake for an auto accident. It's going to show you a different intake for a slip and fall, or it's going to show you a different intake for an, a wills and estate client. It doesn't matter what type of client or what type of case you practice. You need to have an intake that reflects that case type. So we built logic into our intake. And what I mean by that is we set up, or you can set up a way to have the questions kind of dictate the agent's path. So as asked questions, it can shut down additional lines of questioning. It can add additional lines of questioning depending on how the intake goes. For example, were you in an auto accident? Yes. Do you have insurance? Yes. Now, if I hit no, it's not going to ask for the insurance policy number. But if I hit yes, it may ask for that insurance policy number. But the point is to kind of get the client through the intake and getting everything you require without allowing the skip and to understand what's important. There's another good aspect to having such a such a tool at your disposal during the intake process. And that is anyone can do an intake. And what I mean by that is training is much less extensive when you have a workflow and a path that the agent kind of must follow to get what you need to send them a contract. Very important to have. Um, I'm sure all you guys have some type of intake you're already in use. We just 
spruce it up by adding logic to it to make it even more simplistic and understandable for the PNC. I know this isn't as big as it used to be, but um, due to COVID, a lot of us are still working virtually. A lot of our staff is working virtually still. And how do we know they're working? Are they not out biting their bikes? Are they at home? Are they actually in their office? I mean, we can all assume and hope they are because we all hope they're working as hard as we are. But that's not always the case, right? So you can kind of monitor your staff's output, but not only that, they can work anywhere. I mean, as long as they have a computer and internet, no matter where they are, they can log in and they can do their leads and they can do their work. You can make sure they're doing their work. You can make sure they're available, make sure they're there eight hours a day. Um, it becomes very important to kind of track what people are doing all day long. I mean, we all want to assume the best, but it's better just to know that they're doing what you are paying them to do all day, every day as, as you pay them. So you can keep your staff busy this way as well. So with a dialer like this, you can actually say, you know what, we're all out of new leads. Let's call last month's unconverted clients and see what happens. You can kind of dictate those types of transactions with your dialer, keeping your agent busy at all times, no matter what. So there's never a time throughout the day week, year, that they don't have something to do. And it's important to keep people busy because when we're not busy, we get bored and we go do something else we're not supposed to be doing. We take off for the day, we sneak out, whatever. Um, so you can actually say, oh my gosh, I don't have enough leads and there's nothing for them to do on Friday. Let's call all the people who have contracts out who haven't signed. You can set that up to do that. The system will dictate those calls. And then again, back to the prioritization, those calls are still not gonna be called First, if a new lead or set of new leads come in, again, very important. You know, you're kind of dictating the workflow so that new leads are the highest priority because obviously they're new and they're potential and they're most likely to convert. Then you can call everybody else back from last month. So again, that is very important to have an effect to kind of make sure you're doing your output the way you want. So um, finally, I wanna ask, you know, how does a dialer like this save time? and expenses and generate more revenue for my firm. Again, we've talked about agent productivity, but let's discuss numbers. An average intake rate agent on a busy day can do anywhere from 150 to 275 calls with a dialer, smart dialer such as this, or a CRM dialer. How many calls are your agents making? Do we know? Do you know? It might sound like a lot, but you know, 90% of the time, that's not gonna be answered the first call. So it's a lot of voicemails but the productivity should be in that range if you're busy. And so this will really give you that metric to say, hey, you know what? Why were you on busy for four hours and you only made 20 calls yesterday Why Kelly, our other rep, made 100 calls and she did all the work that you didn't do. Again, very important to be able to know that and very important to know how many calls they can make. You cannot make that many calls by hand. If you're doing everything by hand with a desk phone, you're lucky to hit 50 to 50 to 60 calls a day at most. Um, that's a very pretty good agent. But with a dial, you can definitely hit well over 200. So next thing, um, retainers. Touchy subject, but it's very important. If you have a intake that is has logic based in it to decide your six qualifications for any type of case that you say, hey, I want this case, you want to send out a contract, all right? And a lot of people use DocuSign or EchoSign or some other sign the issue with those are is they do not text the contract. Not only that, they require you to fill out the contract for each and every potential client. That takes half an hour at least. So with using this CRM feature, all the data you gathered in the intake, you press a button, it's gonna load that contract, it's gonna inject all that client information into your contract and send it to them on the phone instantly, allowing your rep to say, here you go, let's walk you through it so you can understand what the next process and steps are. Don't hang up, stay on the phone, walk them through it. There's no reason to hang up and try something else. If you do that, most likely they're not gonna convert later. Or if you hang up to make your DocuSign, you're gonna have a hard time getting them to sign it later or chasing them down to get them to sign or any of the other factors that happen. These happen all day, every day. Um, you have gotta do it while they're on the phone. You gotta be able to do it quickly and efficiently so you can walk the client through by texting it and emailing it, much more effective. So marketing insights. So again, I go back to these lead sources and, and getting these leads integrated so you know what's coming in in real time. 
I don't know if any of you are doing this, but some people will ask their clients, hey, where'd you hear about us? Most times, nine out of 10, they'll say Google. That's not very helpful for you. So by grabbing those sources automatically as leads come in from the computer, you're going to know exactly what's working, where, when, and why. So you can make adjustments every day on your marketing spends. I mean, pay-per-click is expensive. Um, billboards, TV, very expensive. You want to know if it's being used and utilized in a correct way. So you can go back to your vendors and say, hey, this campaign worked really well for me. Let's spend some more money here. Or this campaign was horrible. I'm not going to pay you full price. So having that kind of at your disposal will really save you a lot of money, time, and headache. And it'll also allow your vendors to say, oh, well, maybe we should adjust our Facebook. Maybe we should adjust our website a little bit. Maybe this would make it better. So it becomes a powerful tool in both hands. Very nice way to kind of work hand in hand to get you the best marketing spends for your dollar. So um, custom workflows. We believe in automations that are customized and personalized. And so not just by the client or by the intake or by using your name, but by the case type or by the way they contact you. What I mean by that is if somebody calls you, you're not going to want them to say, hey, Bob, thanks so much for inquiring or filling out my form submission. You're going to want a custom text based on that lead source. So, for example, thank you for watching our TV ad or we appreciate you seeing me on TV. Um, I'd love to speak with you further about your opportunity of a case. Those kinds of workflows that are different based on where they're inquiring from or based on what the client is, case type, et cetera, are all part of the system. Very huge to kind of help you give it a more personalized effect without that robotic feel. So, you know, in the end, you know, the idea of this dialer is that we are trying to grow your firm. It is very, very successful with the firms we have at using it. Um, I cannot stress this enough that there is no reason that you should not see a 10 to 20% conversion rate right off the bat and productivity go up. It's just, it's just part of the deal. Salesmen have been using such a tool for since the beginning. So why aren't we? This is the best tool out there for your intake department and your CRM to actually convert leads. Now that gives me my final piece, which is what happens after we sign a client up. We try not to play with the attorney's workflow. So whatever case management system you're using out there, whatever data you're using to put your cases into, we'll integrate with it and we'll make that data flow in there. So you don't have to worry about the workflow. You just get the access to these features and your intake reps get to use the features, but nothing changes on your rent. This is big for attorneys. Um, I know that's very difficult to teach a staff, you know, everyone on staff how to use a new piece of software. It's just, it can be a nightmare undertaking. So by allowing you to keep the same system you're using and just putting this as the front end, you're really gonna save a lot of headache. There's not much modification to the firm workflow at all. Um, the idea again, being that we don't wanna disrupt your work. We want you to keep working. We just want to give you the tools you need to be successful at converting your cases. And that's kind of where we fit in. So regardless if you have a case manager system or not, Lawwar is a fit for the front end. Again, I've talked about this a few times, but again, I can't be stressed enough. We all need reporting. We have it, it's available. You can see how many calls came in each day, how many leads converted, um, when they converted, when they signed, who signed, why they signed, everything's available to you um, at your fingertips. Now, all these reports can be sent on a schedule, daily, weekly, monthly, or you could do one-offs. If you have a very important campaign you're running right now and you want to know each and every lead that converts, you can work it right away. That can happen too in your reports. So again, we have custom reporting that will fit any needs you guys have. Um, very useful to have, also very necessary, and you may not be have access to it at this point. Marketing sources, ROI report, um, again, knowing which vendors are working, knowing which calls are being answered, it's gonna blow your mind when you see exactly what's happening to your intake team. So that's um, you know the gist of what I have to say for the dialer itself. I kind of want to open up to Q&A. If anyone could give me some call questions, I have answers, provide you with some feedback. Um, we're going to open the floor. Anyone?
All right. So we have no questions at this time, I guess. Um, yes, so the first question. You can, we can absolutely provide you with a copy of this recording when we're done. Not a problem. We're also gonna be providing again that kind of a PDF of the top five points for this um, webinar as well. So you can kind of look over, you know, what we find are the most important aspects of this feature. You're welcome. Anyone else? Uh, Mary had asked, do you have standard form scripts we can use? Absolutely. Um, if you don't have a made intake form, we have intake forms to match any needs. What we like to do is provide those. You can kind of tailor them down, take away the questions you don't want, maybe add a few, but we'll definitely provide you with pre-made intake forms um, and we'll customize them for you based on what you want to add to it. So yes, absolutely. Any other questions with regards to intake or the dialer itself? All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for um, their time today. And again, I can be reached um, anytime via email at rwidders at lawruler.com, or you can call me directly at 805 201 2258. I'm always happy to help and give suggestions. If you guys have questions, feel free to call me there anytime. Thank you.